What once started with an obsession for a flower became the world's first financial bubble. Today, I'm going to tell you the story about the seed which got the Dutch economy on a fall. In the 16th and 17th centuries, the Netherlands was a European superpower with far-reaching international trade relations. At this time, still-life paintings decorated the walls of the homes of the wealthy Dutch. These colourful still-life paintings depicted beautifully composed bouquets of tulips and other exotic flowers. Having a lush garden all year round was one of the most prestigious elements of a Dutch home. When someone got a brilliant idea of transferring these colourful and precious tulips onto magnificently painted canvases and panels, these artworks immediately became popular. The fascination for these careful rendered bouquets spread and the paintings often served as sales material for those who bought and sold tulip bulbs. The buyers found it difficult to imagine the beautiful flowers from a bulb. But thanks to paintings, drawings and etchings in books, their investments became more concrete. The best flower painters were in demand artists who became wealthy. The tulip bulb trade increased and became regulated, but speculation swept over. This trade of tulip bulbs came to be called tulipomania. A single tulip bulb could cost the equivalent of several million dollars in today's monetary value and as much as ten times the annual salary for a craftsman. During the speculation wave, some tulips were higher in value than others. Tulip variety, Semper August, was one of the most expensive. A single bulb could cost as much as three canal houses and those who cultivated these tulips kept the site secret. The more speculative the art market became, the more frequently the tulip brokers traded with written contracts for next year's harvest. Many people bought and speculated on something hypothetical. During the 1630s, the market for bulbs reached its peak. Prices rose and contracts for tulips that were not yet available could change owner ten times a day. Everyone traded with tulips, from nuns and wealthy noblemen to carpenters and farmers who traded their farms for a single bulb. In light of Tulipomania, in 1614, the merchant and author Romer Vischer wrote about the trade, saying, The fool and his money will soon be separated. In 1636, tulip bulbs were the Netherlands' fourth largest export product. One day in February 1637, the air went out of the market. In one of the tulip auctions, several of the usual buyers never showed up. The bubble burst and the majority of tulip herbs became worthless. Roma Vischer got it right in the end. The fools were separated from their money. 